On behalf of the Association of Fundraising Professionals, I am delighted to welcome you to our first ever virtual celebration of National Philanthropy Day in Maryland. What a year 2020 has been for all of us, personally and professionally. I want to sincerely thank all of you for taking the time out of your day as we both celebrate the great work of philanthropy in our community and th take the time to enhance our professional development skills. Over the next three days, we will honor those who dedicate themselves to philanthropy and inspire us through their remarkable acts of generosity and selflessness. We are honored to celebrate Asma Inga Hanif, our Outstanding Philanthropist of the Year, the T. Rowe Price Foundation, our Outstanding Philanthropic Organization of the Year, and Chris Kopeck, or what you may know him better as, DJ Kopeck, as our Volunteer Fundraiser of the Year. We also look forward to introducing you to our outstanding youth fundraisers and unsung heroes. Each year, the Maryland chapter of AFP joins national and international colleagues in celebrating the spirit of giving. With a network of 243 chapters and over 33,000 members worldwide, we are able to support and foster philanthropy through our unified efforts. With more than 300 members in our Maryland chapter, we are privileged to be a part of this community of philanthropy and are committed to ethical fundraising practices, leading initiatives that foster diversity, equity, and inclusion in fundraising, along with being on the forefront of best practices for the philanthropic profession. Please join me in giving a virtual round of applause to our community of dedicated fundraising professionals for their commitment, dedication, and vision. For those participating today who are not members of AFP, we welcome you to join us. I encourage you to visit our website, afpmaryland.org, for more information and to see all of the fantastic benefits of membership. As someone who began their membership in AFP as a young professional, I can say firsthand just how valuable and incredible membership in AFP has been for me. Joining this organization is an important investment in yourself. We understand that this has been a difficult time for many in our profession. Our chapter is pleased to offer membership scholarships, along with discounted rates for young professionals or organizations investing in multiple memberships. This event would not be possible without the dedicated group of individuals working behind the scenes to bring you this celebration today. I want to first thank our fearless leaders, Tara Turner and Elise Krikow. Tara is the Assistant Vice President of Institutional Advancement at Coppin State University, and Elise is the Senior Vice President of Development at the Maryland Food Bank. These two incredible women are this year's event co-chairs for National Philanthropy Day and two of the most extraordinary people I've had the pleasure of working with. Tara and Elise also led a very dedicated committee of volunteers who have worked hard over many months, turning this in-person event into a completely virtual experience. Please join me in thanking Tara, Elise, and the National Philanthropy Day Committee for all their tireless efforts in bringing you this exceptional program over the next three days. Tara and Elise's leadership, along with the hard work of the committee and the AFP Maryland Board of Directors, has made today's celebration possible. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Kathleen Gregory, the Director of Development at the Public Justice Center, who organized and facilitated the work of the selection committee. This group of past awardees helped to select our stellar award winners, featured throughout the next three days. Please join me for a virtual round of applause for Kathleen and the wonderful members of our selection committee. Thank you. We'd also like to thank our chapter administrators, Marcy Hickey and Nina Bull from King Management Group for their support. Thank you, Marcy and Nina, for being an integral part in the success of this event year after year. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Kim Weiner, the Director of Development at Maryland Volunteer Lawyer Service and our president-elect. Kim has truly gone above and beyond in supporting this event and the work of the chapter. She is someone I am proud to call a colleague and a friend. Thank you, Kim, for your never-ending support and positivity. Lastly, I'd like to recognize Chris Norline, the Director of Communications and Grants at the ARC Baltimore and Treasurer for the AFP Maryland Board of Directors. Chris stepped in to serve as our tech lead and created many of the videos you will see during our next three days. Chris, thank you for helping guide us as we navigated this virtual landscape. We are very excited about the programming that our attendees will get to experience over the next three days. Thank you to Alicia Fox, Jennifer McGinley and Andrea Martin for leading our first session, Exploitation versus Empowerment in Storytelling. On Wednesday, we're pleased to have Margot Cook, Mae Kimmel, Sarah Tedesco, Beverly White Seals, 
and moderator Chris Sharar for an important panel discussion about the current philanthropic landscape and what we can do in our work to ensure organizational viability in the coming years. Our final session will feature Terry Hartwell Easter and focus on the first step in building your diversity, equity, and inclusion framework. Please join me in thanking our presenters and moderators for their time and what I know will be important and critical learning experiences for all of you. Before I end my time with you today, I want to reaffirm our chapter's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion by reading for you our chapter's DEI policy statement. The AFP Maryland chapter is committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion across the organization, where all members, regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, national origin, age, sexual orientation, identity, or disability, feel valued and respected. We embrace diverse life experiences and are committed to modeling diversity and inclusion, ensuring that all voices across the membership are heard. I encourage you to visit our website to learn more about our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and how you can join us in the continued conversation to these commitments. Again, thank you all for joining us, and I look forward to meeting you virtually over the next few days.